Good morning. I want you guys to watch this short clip and then come back and we'll discuss it. A pregnant woman on TikTok said that family members who don't like her aren't entitled access to her kid. Before I dive into this video, I want to set a boundary and I don't mind blocking people if you want to argue with that boundary, it's fine. But I'm not asking for advice or feedback. The situation happened years ago. It has already been handled. Also, I totally get that you have always known this. Some of us have to learn lessons and go through life and that doesn't make us stupid and you're not better than us because you always knew. So years ago, I had this family member who we didn't necessarily get along. It wasn't World War III, um, but we were cordial to each other. They live in a really nice, beautiful area and they still communicated with my kids and all that stuff. And they reached out and wanted my kids to go stay with them for like a week during the summer and I thought okay a nice change of scenery sure why not so as we are planning out this trip we're talking on the phone I noticed that they are really short with me I noticed that they are asking me questions that have nothing to do with this trip but they're making it seem like it does and they're just making up barriers as to why this trip can't happen. They're just being really rude to me for no reason. So I pause and I say, hey, if I said or did something, I apologize because I don't know what's going on here. Like you seem to be really annoyed and angry with me and I, I wanna know what's up. This person blows up and says, I really don't like you. And I have no desire to ever talk to you again. And I am only talking to you because I want your kids to have the best life. And I want them to have a good time. But as for you, I have no desire to talk to you ever again. So, I'm not a quick-witted person. I am fighting back tears because I am a little shaken up by the fact that this person is talking to me like this and I'm scratching my head as to what is going on like I think I missed a couple pages I'm the kind of person who when something happens I need to remove myself from the situation and think about it gain some clarity and then I'll come back to it so I, I get off the phone with him I think about it for a second it quickly dawns on me this person really cannot afford to host this trip they ain't got no money but instead of just being honest and saying hey i can't do this they're flipping it and making it be my fault and they're coming up with and creating scenarios as to why this visit won't work out also and most importantly it dawns on me i don't want my kids around somebody who's going to talk to me like that because from past experience, when people treat you like that, eventually, once your kids get old enough to actually have an opinion, they are going to treat your kids the same way. Because the thing about a lot of toxic people, they love children because children are easily malleable. Children look up to you know, most people, if you give them some candy, wave a couple dollars in their face, you can get a child to like you. This person also thought that since they didn't like me, they could have power over me by knowing that they still had a place in the lives of my children. I immediately woke up, called them back, and I said, you know what? You're entitled to feel however you want to feel about me. You know, you don't want to talk to me like an adult about what's going on. That's totally fine. But one thing is for certain, you can no longer have access to my children if you are going to disrespect me. On the phone, they were like, oh, okay, fine. As long as you let your kids know that it was your decision. And I said, okay, sure. I, I fully plan on doing that. Click. Yeah, I had a conversation with my children. They were like, yeah, we actually didn't want to go anyway. Good. And then I teach them about boundaries. I'm always talking to my kids about boundaries. A family member texts me and says, it's awfully narcissistic of you to decide that just because I don't want to talk to you that I can't be around your kids. Tao, I deleted and blocked them so fast. You cannot, under any circumstances, think. Now, once my kids are adults, you know, I have no control over them. They can do what they want to. But for as long as I have control over it, you will not be having access to my children while you disrespect 
or abuse or abuse me or treat me any kind of way because I know that you're probably just using my kids for your own selfish intention you think in some weird way you're going to turn my kids against me which is absolutely not going to happen the family member shortly after that conversation texted my daughter and said that um I'm still trying to figure out a way for you to come visit. My daughter immediately sent me that text. I reached out to them. I unblocked them. And I said, "Do if you reach out to my children again, it's going to be a legal issue. That was the end of that. Do not let somebody around your kids if they don't like you. There is no such thing as getting along for the sake of the children. There is no such thing as keeping the peace. There is, no, you cannot be in the life of my kids if you do not like me, respect me absolutely the entire fuck not.